Good morning everyone, I hope you're all okay. Today is Tuesday and we're going to have a little look around my local B&M. So let's go and see if they've got any Christmas bits in or in fact what they've got. No, come along with me. Right, we're inside now and before anyone mentions it, I have my mask on. My hands are clean, I've got my anti-back wipes and we're all ready to go. So let's go and have a look around. So in this store, when you first come in, they do um, food and things first. Um, down this aisle here, there's all sorts of snacks and um, food and stuff like that. But you have to actually go around this way to get to the bottom of the store, so you, you can't like cut through. But they do, um, yeah, they do loads and loads of different foods and snacks and jars and jams and all stuff like that. I am going to buy some of this. This is some edible glitter. And I have got a little project in mind that I'm going to buy this for. So that is something I am going to pick up. And they also sell lots of cake stuff as well. They've got some Halloween biscuits down there. Look, unicorn, skeletons, bats, that sort of thing. have got some self-raising flour. You can buy that much easier now, which is good. And then all the cereals. Courtney loves golden nuggets. We have to make sure we've got those in. We've got cookie crisp. Kellogg's honey, honey, does that say honey, what does it say bees, does it? Oh, I like honey bees, pops. Reese's Puffs. I've got the Lucky Charms up there as well. And then Marshmallow Maters, I think that's like a cheaper version. So they do all this and they also do um, sort of like sauces and stuff like that as well. Right, we'll just have a, a quick look down this one. They've got, they've got loads of different sweets and stuff. So if you like to keep, we don't really eat that many sweets, that's the thing. Or chocolate, to be quite honest. So they've got the, the um, giant straws there. My kids like those. I normally get them those at Christmas. And they do different bags. I mean, obviously with Halloween, trick-or-treating and things like this, these bags are, are quite handy to do. I've not seen the fruity frogs before. They're 50p. Blackjacks. I only eat them if you don't have any fill-ins. Oh, look at those, they're good. Look, movie mix. Oh, I love those cherries. Look, there's me saying I don't eat much sweets, and I'm saying I like these. Are those nice little fizzy cherries. That's 2 49 That's a massive bag, isn't it, that one? Jelly babies. I always buy my dad jelly babies. Every single, well, birthday and Christmas. You can personalise that pencil case. Look with your name as well. We've got some different sweets there army and navy mum likes those pear drops sherbet lemons like more of the old-fashioned sorts there there's blackcurrant and licorice there hard gums there's some bonfire toffee there look traditional chopped toffee made with treacle and butter some licorice all sorts there's a tub there with sweets in and you can use that tub afterwards as well if you want to that just looks really sickly. I couldn't eat that. That's just massive, isn't it? Here's the good old Pez. Let me know if you used to have um, a Pez when you were young. They're still doing them now, aren't they? And fruit salad. That's kind of the other one that went with blackjack. I never liked either of those. These, are, these little things here are really good for Christmas Eve boxes. And I know I've mentioned Christmas Eve boxes a few times on the channel, and quite a few of you don't actually know what they are. Basically, um, it's something that started a few years ago over here. I know people have been doing them for quite some time. Um, I put together a little box of things that the kids have on Christmas Eve. It can be a new pair of pyjamas. I mean, ever since Chloe was little, I've always bought her a new pair of pyjamas and like a little treat on Christmas Eve. Um, but what I do is I just put them together in a bag and um, that's what I did back then and then just put some treats. But now I put them in like a Christmas Eve box and I put um, bits to keep them occupied. And obviously as they're getting older, it's harder because they don't want the sticker books and the things. But so when they're young, you can get them things to do, like crafts and stuff to keep them occupied. But as they get older, I put things in like bath bombs and I always put like a hot chocolate in and things like that. But it's just like a few little bits just to make, you know, I mean, Christmas Eve is a real big thing in our house. It's, I think I like the build up to Christmas actually probably more than Christmas Day. Because I don't, I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments. Because I just, I love the, I love the making the reindeer food and do, you know doing all the stuff that's leading up to it, putting the decorations up, doing the crafts for the kids, going places. You know, I really love that part. So that's why we kind of make a big thing about Christmas Eve because that's it's a really nice day too. So 
that's what the Christmas Eve boxes are all about. So you just put, and you don't have to spend a lot on them. You know, it's not like, you know, a, 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 a expensive thing. You can do it quite cheap. But anyway, I'm jabbering on and we're, um, we're supposed to be looking at this. Well, these are the Fryer's creams. They're quite um, old as well, aren't they? I know my mum used to um, have those like when I was younger. I used to think they was disgusting, but I like them now. So the peppermint, the raspberry, they've got a strawberry and an orange. But my mum always used to like the orange ones from the um, chocolate box. We were never allowed to eat the orange, not the orange, the strawberry ones, sorry. She always used to like the strawberry chocolates, the strawberry cream ones, and nobody was allowed to eat them which was good because we didn't like them anyway, otherwise we would have stolen them. Now, I've seen these a few places, the Slush Puppy drinks. Um, you can get like the machine to go with them. We thought about getting something like that for Carl's Bar. I thought that would be quite cool. So you can buy the syrup in here, which is good. But sometimes those things, they don't work, do they? They look really good, but they're actually rubbish. But let me know if you've got one and if they work. So this is just chocolate, right? I'm just going to go around the other side now. Right, this aisle is pets, so they do all sorts of pet stuff up here. Um, they do everything from bird feeders to, um, well, they've even got dog costumes. I mean, look at that. There's so much, it's like a fancy dress shop for a dog. There's actually a teddy bear costume there. My goodness me. There's some wellies, if you really want to get your dog some wellies. Makes me wonder what people think of when they, they come up with these ideas. They are quite funny. It looks like a bit of a spider suit there. There's a raincoat if you don't want to get your dog wet. And they do all sorts of different um, medicines and stuff as well. And shampoo, well not medicines, I say medicines. I mean things like worming stuff and, um, you know, things for fleas and all that wonderful things that come along with owning pets. Shampoos. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. A pet paw wash cup. Oh, they you dip their little feet in to wash their feet. That's well cool. So they don't come in and have messy feet. That's only two pound, that's good. A light up nail clipper, that's really good because I don't know if you cut your dog's nails if you've got one, but when you, if you catch the quick inside, then that's when it bleeds. It's like a little bit inside and that lights up so um, you don't catch it. That's really good. And there's toothpaste as well. Um, what else have we got? Um, a de-shedding glove. That's very handy for a golden retriever, which we have. Um, they're quite cute bowls, look. Ceramic bowls there. We've got lots of the bird stuff this side, like mealworms and seed mixes and things like that. And fish food. And they do all sorts of different, um, what they're called, collars and leads and things like that and toys loads and loads of toys down there we've got cat litter um, what else got stuff for cats here not a great deal and it looks like they're getting some more stuff in there's a squeaky springy mouse toy down the bottom there that's 2.99 um, and they've got some treats here different kinds of treats dreamies felix there's some Garfield milk at the top there. And then down here, it's just sort of more food and stuff. And around that section, they generally have sort of crisps and or sometimes seasonal in that bit. So down this aisle here, we've got cleaning stuff. So you've got your, um, now this is quite good, the Vanish. I always use this when I wash whitewashing, put my whitewashing together, do it on a 60 or a 90 and I use that. We've got a big tub there for 6 99 but it's really good to, um, to keep your whites as white as you can get them. There's washing machine cleaners there as well. And I use these two. I don't always use them, but I really like Lenore, the blue one. So those tumble dryer sheets are really good as well. I use the, the blue Comfort as well, and also Ariel, just in case any of you wanted to know, which you may well have done. This is a good stain remover and it is actually cheaper than the other one, so just depending which one you wanted to get. You can obviously get hand sanitizer and wipes a lot more readily now. I used to use them before all of this COVID kicked off and I used to find it really hard to buy them because I used to be not 
over the top with it but I just when I used to go out my hands just used to feel dirty so I do wash them all the time anyway so I always used to look for things like hand sanitizer wipes and you just really couldn't get them that much so to me it's really nice to be able to see them in the shop maybe that's just me I don't know um, and I think the wipes make your hands feel cleaner obviously not better than washing them but they make them feel cleaner than the gel although I use the gel as well I do think that the wipes um, are slightly slightly got that better kind of feel on your hands right we've got some different cleaning stuff here there's some fridge what's that fridge and microwave cleaner there that's 199 and there's the um silic bang that's the mold remover and people do get mold you know when especially when the weather changes and if you put um like you you wash in on your radiators and stuff like that and you've got hot in the house and it's cold outside you do tend to get bits like that anyway so just keep an eye on that. I've got the Zaflora, all sorts of different um, types of that. I nearly said flavours, but it's not a flavour. That's quite a cute peg tin as well. They're just 250, and then the washing powder tin is 250 as well. They're nice, I like those. Right, so up this next one, they do wool and they do like things for babies as well. New baby stuff, new blankets, that sort of thing. And they've also, I've noticed, started doing some kind of healthy eating bits and bobs so we've got like the slim fast God, that's been going about for years isn't it muscle juice no hang on muscle mousse muscle mousse mousse juice very strange right let's have a look down here so they've started because it's christmas they've obviously started getting all the little sets in the um sets for christmas and the toiletries and all stuff like that but it's really hard to buy those at any other time of the year when Christmas comes, they obviously they, they have them everywhere, don't they? That's all you can buy. And they do loads of different types of makeup as well. And they often sell um, named brands for a bit cheaper. So, um, for instance, you've got like Maybelline, Rimmel. This one here is $3.99. That one's $3.99 as well. Um, they do all sorts of different foundations as well. And that bit down there, they had sort of all sorts of different creams and stuff. I'm not going to stay there because there's a few customers, so I'm just going to come past that bit. In this section, they have all sorts of different towels. They seem to have done something different to this row. It seems a lot narrower than it was before. I'm not sure if it's just me um, or the way they've stacked stuff, but we've got loads of different types of towels and bath mats and stuff. And then on this side, you've got bathroom accessories like toilet brushes, baskets, soap holders. There's some... Um, hand towels down the bottom there and I think that's a bath mat that pink one and then there's a, a grey one as well and they do all sorts of different um, different coloured toilet brushes as well but it's nice that you can kind of accessorise things because years ago it was just like white or silver or something and that's all you could get but yeah this is this is this aisle so it is quite a big b and I know lots of you say when I've been here before um, that it is quite big but we do have a couple of really big stores where I live so quite spoiled and our power land's also quite big too so it's nice to show you all even though you do feel a little bit jealous sometimes <laughs> okay right let's go around the next the next bit right this section there's lots of different kitchen things if there's Christmas in I'm going to put that in a different video um it depends how much they've got in there so that's the only thing but um yeah in here they've got all sorts of different tablecloths and I've bought quite a few tablecloths from here before they do have some I think I've got I think I've got that as a table runner that one um, so yeah they do they do quite a lot of different designs and they're generally kind of quite fashionable as well um, around here things like tea and coffee canisters um, what have we got here embossed canisters I've seen those before I like those they're nice too and there's a like a mustard color one that's in the tribal design and there's things like um, food containers we've got some silver foil trays down the bottom there they're good for sort of if you're doing buffets and things like that and then over this side you've got all sorts of different place mats they're quite cool Look, a set of four embossed coasters they're five pounds and i love these mugs i did see these a few weeks ago and i really like them They've got your, the initials on the front. They also do an alphabet coaster as well. They're £2. Um, 
and they do all sorts of different mugs too. But things like this, you could get, you could buy a mug from here, and you could make that as a gift. So you could put like hot chocolate or something in it for Christmas Eve. That would be really nice to do. And then obviously they get to keep the the mug as well. And here we've got all sorts of different plates, and they do a real good mixture of designs as well. There's some tumblers. They're five pounds. What does that say? It's beginning to look a lot like crisps. That's two pounds. And got some white plates up there. Oh, this is what you put your spoons on. I don't know if you can see those. They're one ninety nine, and that's um, a bowl to put like snacks and stuff in. And that's a marble plate. And there's some large embossed mugs here. These stack. They're seven ninety nine. There's a gravy boat down there, so if you use those, or if you want one for Christmas, they're three pounds. They've got loads of different dinner sets as well, if you need some extra plates. They're pretty cool, look at those. I'm not sure how much they are though, because there isn't a sticker on the front, but, and I don't want to move them about, but I, they're quite cool. That's good as well, 4 99 that's um, extra virgin olive oil and, and balsamic vinegar. That's in a little set. Right, and down this aisle, they do loads of different electrical things. So everything from vacuum cleaners, and if I just spin round here, you can see there's loads of things like um, light bulbs and extension reels and all stuff like that. So there's lots of electrical and things down this aisle. Okay, Jake, and this one, it reeks Christmas, doesn't it? This is the season, seasonal aisle. And so, as I said to you before, they've started getting all of their little sets in. So things like this, these are always a hit. Nivea, 3 99 for that. And we've got a fire trap. I don't know how much that is. Again, here we've got the Nivea one, that's 6.99. There's Brute, that's obviously made a bit of a comeback in recent years. It wasn't very cool when I was young, but I think it's quite popular now. There's an advent calendar, a sweet one, that's four pounds. Um, what else have we got? Strobe kit, Revolution. Now the Revolution makeup is actually okay. That's 12 pounds for that. And there's also eye masterclass down there so all sorts of different things for your eyes again if you know they make quite a good present so um, there's a concealer contour set there at seven pounds again that's quite good and there's also a highlighter set that's um quite a cool present we've got some this is revolution again they are it says donut trays so some kind of palette but i'm not sure what it is it says peanut butter jelly. I'm not without picking that up. I can't really tell you exactly what that is. So if you do know, let me know. These look like they're bath bombs or something like that. Oh yeah, bath fizzers. What's this here? Purple dreams. I do love nail varnish. That's quite a cool set. I like that. And what's this here? This is thirty pounds. Ultimate create with me. So you get loads of different things in that set. And then that's Lip Vault at the bottom, that's £30. What do you get in there? Lip Contour. Oh, it's all sorts of different lip contour kits, all sorts of different colours. I bet the girls would like that. We've got some professional brush sets there as well. There you go, look, you can see. If I go there, they're £8. Again, they're a really good price. And that's a strobe kit, that's 12 Prime and Glow set. Uh, that's 15. There's some funky animal print brushes there. What have we got down here? Different bags, you know, like toiletries bags and things like that. Got some more perfume sets. There's Beyonce, there's Rihanna, um, FC UK. And they sell, oh, there's even some Harry Potter earphones. Oh, what's this? They're the earphones, £4, and this is a charging cable. That's £5. That's quite cool. That Pink Lady Retro Dryer, and there's um, a teal kind of colour there, but I don't know how much that is because I think that's quite new. But that looks a good set. Vanity case. What's that say? Sweet Light Chocolate Limited Edition. That's um, they're fragrances, I think. They're fifteen pounds, and there's that's Revolution as well. That's Pro Eyes. That's seven pounds. Got some Remington hair dryers. Keep your receipts as well when you buy things like hair dryers and stuff. An electrical. There's that's not six pounds, but it is in the the place 
of something else, like a Nerf thing. But that's another pink hair dryer. What have we got down here? All sorts of pencils randomly placed. Um, some acrylic paint and bits as well. And right, let's spin round and have a look at the other section. Right, so we've got some of the advent calendars. They do all sorts of different ones down here. There's um, Celebration, there's Reese's, there's Milky Bar, Harry, oh no, the Harry Bow's a hamper thing. There's Peppa Pig, sometimes the chocolate in this is a bit disgusting. Um, they're, probably, they're normally about a pound for things like that. Um, decorations, the Celebrations tubs are five pounds in here. They sometimes go to four in places. If you know somebody that likes hot sauces and spices and things like that, that's six ninety nine, and this one's seven. And then there's those little horrible gummy things at the top. Oh, look, there's a spider there. My girls wouldn't like that. You can get some gumball pool chewing gum. I'm not sure how you chew that. These are quite cool. Look, hot chocolate flavored stirrers. So they're three pounds, and you get three different sorts so you could put those in a mug so you could buy a mug maybe get some marshmallows or even like their favorite sweets or something like that put them in the bottom of the cup put one of those in and just wrap it in a bit of sallow wrap that would be fine that'd make a cool, cool prezi gingerbread house my, always, my girls always do those on christmas eve and these are actually quite nice crisps the turkey stuffing and the pigs in blankets they're just a pound so they're quite good They've got the large gingerbread houses there as well for a fiver. There's all sorts of different chockies down here, matchmakers. Um, there's a sweet hamper down there, that's 4 99 And it's got things like fizz bombs, brain suckers, hard candy, watermelon sweets, that sort of thing in there. There's another Paul gum ball there. You'd have to be really careful with those that you didn't choke on those. There's the Bush took a trial game, which looks, is that real mealworms? Because that just looks disgusting. Why would you buy that? Crickets, you can actually buy it with those in. I don't think so. That's not gonna be on my shopping list. Right, so if you're making a hamper up, so that's another idea, you can get a basket, make a hamper up. You can buy all sorts of different chutneys, fruit cakes, and things. You can put those in. If you've got someone that you don't really know what to buy for and they can just buy anything themselves, then um, doing a hamper for them is, is quite good because you can put all sorts of different things in um, that they probably wouldn't ordinarily buy. So a few more different chocolates. Um, also, let me just show you these. These are hollow Christmassy sanctuary things. You could separate those down as well if you wanted to give them sort of individually. There's some jelly slices. Again, they were around years ago. And there's a coffee syrup selection. So again, you could split that up. You could put that into a mug. If maybe you've got like a secret Santa or you have to give presents to a few people, teachers, something like that. Um, you can get something like this. This is four pounds. Again, you can break that up and do individual presents. This is a chocolate dipping set. That's only four pounds. That's really, really cheap. And then you've got all sorts of different biscuit sets here. So we've got gingerbread unicorn biscuit set. Um, there's a Santa one there with some sort of dinosaurs on. And what else have we got there? Again, there's some more of the coffee syrup. This is like a coffee. It's got vanilla sugar, cocoa sprinkles. And then obviously you've got the thing on the top there that you can sprinkle over the top. It's a huge pack of shortbread down the bottom for four pounds. And then we've got some more biscuits. There's some Christmas tree cupcake kits there. And gingerbread biscuits. That's, again, that's a fab price for six quid. These are six pounds as well. But they're quite cute, aren't they? Right, I'm just going to pop up the um, Halloween aisle because there's loads in this store. So I'm going to have to break it down into different videos. So we'll just have a quick look at the Halloween aisle and then we'll, um, I'll sign off and we'll start again. So yeah loads of bits down here there's a full aisle so a full row of stuff we've got um creepy creatures they're two pounds glow sticks there's a white clean tablecloth there that's three pounds all sorts of different stickers and i know um lots of you that watch from america 
you don't tend to do scary Halloween. In the UK, we've always done it, like scary Halloween, ghosts and things like that. Um, but obviously, you know, around the world, we do things differently. So this is just kind of how we do it. But I know a lot of people are sort of moving towards not scary things for kids now. We've got a sound machine up there, which is 250, tea lights, there's balloons, pumpkin carving kits. There's some weird skeletons that are all dressed up. Oh, it's a frog. I'm really not that keen on frogs. Let's move past that one. You've got your makeup here that you can do with wigs. Again, you can buy these wigs for like any time of the year. I mean, if you've got like dressing up and stuff, you can just you can just buy them there's a pink one behind the back there which is which is cool and the blue one's good and here we've got all sorts of different costumes so they're sort of eight pounds ten pounds this one here is eight pounds and on the front you've got the age in just like a little um red dot there so you can see and they do adult ones as well so that's a mummy bride there i don't know how halloween's going to look this year it's going to be quite different for a lot of people isn't it but I think we'll probably just, the kids will probably just dress up. Well, Phoebe will probably just dress up and stay at home. I'm not sure if the kids are, are doing anything. Obviously, it's, it's difficult at the moment. So, yeah, there's the costumes. And the adult ones, uh, they look around about £15. And that just looks weird. So that's it for me. I'm going to sign off for this video. And I'm going to carry on. So I'll put that in another video for you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all okay. And I'll see you again soon. You take care. Bye for now.